Well, we got a drone down. Trying to get him like that. It was pretty crazy. How's it going, folks? I'm Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. This is episode three of the elk series that we did. If you guys haven't checked out those videos, make sure to go back and watch those videos. They're great stuff. Day three was pretty tough because Kevin wasn't shooting with us this day. I started out shooting and then my drone ended up crashing and I was a little pissed, you could say. So I basically quit recording, but it was it was real frustrating, this type of searching, right? I have no idea where we're at. <laughs> we could find them, but I was wanting to pull my hair out because getting the elk into a situation where we could actually dart them or get a get a shot on them super tough everybody was putting in a good effort on getting the elk in a situation where we could put a dart in them but to actually shoot them was a whole different ball game because you got to be within 20 yards we could see the elk 100 yards you know 200 yards but really closing that distance to be able to put a little dart in them was super difficult if we can get them within 30 yards we can get them with these rifles so we were there all day long all day trying to find these elk we found them right off the rip but then they would move and then we'd have to go back to find them and reposition the guys get them in there to try to get a shot on them no they're no, running. they're running they're running we started getting pretty radical actually on the, the whole drone side of things we had an fpv drone where we ended up coming down into the trees and trying to push these elk out toward the hunters because we tried pushing them with humans and they would move so quickly that they couldn't stay up on them yep 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 red four-wheeler guy keep going keep going red four-wheeler guy so we ended up trying to use the drones and do it that didn't work either it was pretty pretty crazy ended up not getting another one but uh, there's four elk still out in the field they're trying to bait them and trying to get them like that but no success so far all right we're back on the uh, road again the drive is basically almost two hours for us to get down there and we've done it three times now just the drive time alone is two down, two back. That's four hours of driving, and we did that three times. So you're looking at 12 hours of driving trying to get these elk. Last night, they got pictures of the elk on the neighbors. All four grouped together. So we got overcast guys. It's forecasted to rain a little later. It's gonna be absolutely great. I think they got like 15 guys coming out. Day two, I think we had six guys on day two. We were able to get one elk down. They felt like more guys will be better for day three. So they did end up getting more people. They were supposed to have 30 people. I think up to 15 showed up. Some of them didn't. It was raining. It was, uh, it was a little miserable out there. So not everybody wanted to be out looking for elk. We started with 15. As the day went on, I think we lost a couple people, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was difficult. It's a lot harder than people think. The DNR was going to come in on a day two and shoot the elk. We've got 24 hours to get them or ODNR says they're gonna be taken down. But when we started talking to the DNR and they seen that the effort was being put forth to actually try to capture these elk back, they were willing to work with the owners of the elk. And they're like, there's no need for us to come kill your elk if you're putting effort into trying to capture them. So they were very good with working with them. And after showing them the technology, they were just like, well, this is way better than anything that they could do. How they were gonna do it is basically bait them and then kill them. So they seen some of the drone technology and how we could find them right away and keep eyes on them and that type of thing. And they were like, it totally makes sense. As long as you're putting effort in it, they're not gonna come kill the elk. That was a, a, a big help from them because technically they would have been allowed to kill the elk on day two when we were there. 
I wasn't even recording. How sad is that when I crashed my drone? Well, we got a drone down. It didn't even really crash. I landed it on the hood of my truck. It was raining. I was just being a little bit lazy. Shouldn't have done this. Uh, school of hard knocks. Landed it on my drone, just had my truck waxed, and the drone sits there, and then it slowly starts scooting off, and I'm sitting inside like, oh no. And it, it just slid off the hood and fell down on the arms, broke the arms off. This broke off, and these back arms are loose. I landed it on my truck hood, and then it slid off the back and dropped down like that. Stupid. So, now we're down to one drone, Jay's full on him. It won't be a problem unless they L split. You know, it, it would have been cooler if it would have been like up and hit a tree and it fell down, but no, it just fell off the truck. I mean, doggone it. We flew all day. Literally, there was one drone that flew for almost 12 hours straight. We had four drones there at one point. So we told them that the best way to do this is get more drones in that way a drone for an elk, right? If they split, this drone goes after that elk, this drone goes after that elk, so we can keep tabs on them all the time without having to go search for them again. Are they headed back west? Northwest? Yeah. North, northwest. Okay, I'm standing right in their way. <laughs> we have four drones there. We had three Matrice, three baby drones trying to help as well. They couldn't fly in the rain. We flew all day had operators there, we're in the mud. Everybody's basically sick and tired of this at the end of the day because we didn't get farther by the end of the day as we were at the beginning of the day. So everybody was kind of frustrated at the end and we did what we could, you know, drone deer recovery came in, found the elk, kept the elk in front of the hunters. It just wasn't happening to get them close enough to, you know, get the shot and put them to sleep to be able to take them back to their pen. So it ended up being pretty, pretty frustrating. We gave them what we were there to do and they were happy with it. It just, they're still out there. So maybe one day we can update you guys like, hey, got him. But as of right now, they're still out there. As of right now, tell me there's still four elk roaming around Southern Ohio. In, in Ohio, yep. In Ohio. <laughs> don't, come, don't come here trying to shoot these elk. <laughs> yep. Thanks for watching this episode of Drone Deer Recovery. We appreciate all the support that you guys have given us with the growth of the channel, and there's some super exciting stuff coming. Let us know what you guys think of this style of video. We'll bring you what you guys want, and we'll see you on the next one. Guy in the yellow. Oh yeah, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. Guy black jacket. in black jacket that is standing next to a dude with a yellow high vis. You're close. She's getting close to you guys.